Hey everybody, welcome back. Trevor here. I was out doing a little bit of driving around today, uh, just kind of a lazy Sunday afternoon and wanted to get out of the house. I've got some trails out, you know, kind of close to my house, so I just thought I'd jump in the Jeep real quick and, and get out and live, you know. Uh, nothing, nothing hardcore, no serious off-roading, just a nice Sunday drive. But this is my Jeep. Uh, this is more my weekend toy, um, soon to be bug out vehicle. I'm gonna change up a lot of stuff and start carrying some emergency equipment inside the Jeep. But I just wanted to do a quick walk around for you guys and uh, show you a little bit about another, another <laughs> one more of my hobbies. Um, as you can see, I've got the CB antenna mounted up on my hood there. That's all wired up and working. This is a 95 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo, and it had a lot of chrome. You can see it still has the chrome Jeep there, and I am in the process of changing that all out. Okay, I had a chrome grill, but I went to the junkyard and picked up, I think it was green, but um, sanded that down, painted it black. This is actually a Christmas present from my girlfriend. Okay, it's the Smitty Built XRC 8,000 pound winch. And also, the same Christmas, she got me these Hella 500 driving lights. And those are mounted up on the roller fair lead there. The winch mount my dad and I made. You can see grade 8 hardware there all bolted together. Uh, we didn't weld it together right now. We figured, you know, grade 8 hardware, it's going to keep it together. Saved a little bit of time. Eventually, I'll get around to welding it all up. Underneath, on the front end, I haven't done too many upgrades. I put a Rubicon Express heavy duty track bar and Rubicon Express quick disconnects. One of these days I'll upgrade my steering components, but I don't really do real hardcore off-roading. I mean, I'll go out to the ORV park or find some trails, but nothing, uh, nothing real hard. The tires I have on here are 32 1150s on some black steel rims. The tires are Wild Country TXRs. And it's a it was a pretty decent aggressive tread. Um, they're getting pretty wore down, so I'll probably have to buy some new ones pretty soon. My suspension is a four inch rough country lift. And as you can see down here, it's the Easy Ride short arm kit. I really don't have a need to put long arm suspension on here. I've thought about it and just haven't committed to it yet. I don't see a need for it. Uh, let's see, I've got my Yakima Load Warrior rack up top. My high lift jack inside of there. I used to carry my spare up here. Um, when I finally had to change tires, I found out it is not the easiest thing to uh, pull a 32 inch tire down from up top. <laughs> so it's actually moved into the back. Coming back here, I've got some cheap tail light covers. Uh, I got those out of the junkyard, same time I did the front grill. And actually, they're either taped or glued onto the lenses, so I was actually, I just bought all new lenses. Just pulled the whole things off the uh, junkyard Jeep. Down here, I've got some backup lights and a Clevis uh, hitch pin, or trailer hitch, excuse me. Never know, I might have to pull someone out or get pulled out. Unfortunately, it's still the Dana 35 axle. Hoping to upgrade to a Dana 44 or a Ford 8.8 someday. Okay, and I got my ever-present POW MIA You're Not Forgotten sticker. Okay, you always gotta support those guys. Can't ever imagine what a POW went through. And it doesn't matter what war, Vietnam, World War II, some of our soldiers that have been captured in Iraq, Afghanistan, Mogadishu, I, it floors me, honestly. You know, I always try to support our troops. Now in the back, I, uh, I'm, I'm getting it ready to be a bug out vehicle. Um, I've got some recovery tools, shovels, axes, um, some basic tools, you know, spare oil, some antifreeze. 
But as far as survival, um, I'm still working on putting some MREs and some water back there. Uh, I'll probably carry a couple sleeping bags. Give you a peek of the interior up front. My poncho liner there. And my U.S. Army seat covers. See my CB down there. But like I said, the back isn't quite ready yet. Um, this will be part one of bug out vehicle series. <laughs> so stay tuned. Some more chrome that I've got to change out. But guys, that's my Jeep. Uh, I know you've heard me talk about it in some of the other videos. Just thought I'd do a walk around for you. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe out there. Get out and live, and I'll see you next time.